Hi, it's Frank from Man Lake, and I'm here with Billy Fussell, a commercial beekeeper here in Florida. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about his experience with Amiflex, the new uh, mite treatment, uh, kind of a replacement for Apivar. And he's got some good feedback because the best feedback we get is from people who are actually using the product. So, Billy, let me ask you. Tell me about the product, your experience with it. Well, we was kind of the um, pioneers of it. Um, I reached out to some other commercial beekeepers and was asking about it, and nobody, you know, as a new product, nobody was um, really had tried it yet. And so I was very fortunate with um, having already having a pesticide license from my previous job with the county. And so me and my wife decided we run the business together, and we says, you know, we're coming off Brazilian pepper flow and it's time for our treatments. And we had some hives that were really um, looking good. Some were high in mite counts, which is naturally here in Florida. When you say high in mite count, give me a number. Um, our average was about 10 to 12, right. um, but we had some that come out of South Georgia that were probably in the 50s and 60s. Wow. They were, numbers were up there. Yeah. And um, so, we says, you know, this, this product's new, we have to treat something, so we're going to do some comparisons if we're going to use it. Um, I spoke with Andrew at, down here in um, Winter Haven, and at that time, him and another distributor somewhere in Alabama had it, so Andrew was close, and I, I deal with Man Lake down here, so um, Andrew said he had it available, so we decided to use it, and I told Andrew, I says, we're going to use it but being we are the pioneers of using it, um, we're going to do a little research and do a little um, research and development on it too. So my buddies, they all know I'm using it. They're going to start asking me, and that's what they've done. Yeah. And so we went through our yards and did about a 10% across the board on mite washes and wrote our numbers down and knew where we were sitting at beforehand. And then we purchased the, um, the sticky boards with the corrugated plastic to right. use on solid from Man Lake, and then we put them down to record our drop count. Okay. And so- So you we, had the highest prep rate to do it. We, we, we picked out which ones we did, we logged them on our boxes, right. and we went back and we started applying treatments. We said applying treatments. Um, we used, um, the, we went, read up on the um, application, what it said to use, and it called for um, three grams twice on two sticks so, on a hive and a half. Two sticks. Mm -hmm. Top group. You run um, single. We run. Uh, we run a hive and a half. We run a single and a medium. So, so we put three. it in between. Okay. And we, we split them out. If you had five frames of brood, you'd gap one frame. Right. And um, so we put the first round treatments on them. And I went back 24 hours and pulled off my sticky boards and seen what kind of drop we had and had really amazing drop on the first 24 hours. So I said, okay, let's slide another sticky board in there and let's monitor to see how long a drop we have. Right. You know, how, how long is this product? Other products we used in the past um, used to have a three to four to five day and then all of a sudden right. um, they quit working. So we calculated up and Day eight, day nine, day 10, we still was having some drop. Wow. Um, and we was pretty impressed with the numbers. Um, Amiflex says you can put one treatment, but with our theory is you're breaking a brood cycle and the brood cycle is 21 days. Right. So two we did two treatments to cool. give you the complete cleanness. Yeah. And so we, when we applied the second treatment, we went back again and put um, sticky pads down and noticed that the drop wasn't as heavy. So we know we cleaned them up pretty good. We did not do mite washes at that time. We just yeah. washed the sticky pads. After the second treatment, we gave it two more weeks afterwards right. and then went back and did mite washes. And we was blown away with the mite numbers. Um, our 10 to 14 numbers were down to zero our high numbers were still at zero too. It took, it cleaned them up really nice. So, um, okay, so your experience so far has been good. 
the have you seen any adverse effects like say with queen shine now? well that was our biggest concern was with other products in the fall treatments um we are here in florida so some of the guys are getting go, going to california well we do local pollination here in central florida and my beak my pollination my blueberry guy we usually place our bees the first week of january so that was my next thing is if i'm treating in december will i have an adverse effect on my queen shutdown we had seen no shutdowns and two of my yards were positioned in a spot that was heavy maple and those bees were ready doing treatments they never slowed down they actually grew and we did have um, feed on them and with the maple flow coming in you could probably split them bees coming out of the treatment they, wow. and they was cleaned up good and really healthy looking bees and quick and easy like we've talked about some of those treatments you need multiple you're going back you're getting the hide you spend a lot of time well you know time's money one i was really um amazed how the company took the time and built a quality applicator yeah. um it's not your average you know, store-bought caulk gun. Um, it's built nice. It's going to last for years if you take care of it. Yeah. Um, the quick out change on the cartridges, I mean, they just a quarter turn unlock. Um, your tops are already pre-cut. You just uncap. Um, you can get about 20 hives per cartridge. And cartridges are nice, slim. You can fit four or five of them in your pocket and go. Um, Cleanness wise, here you don't have to wear gloves because you, you're, you're six to eight inches away from the chemical itself. You're not exposed to it like other products. Right. And there's really no mess. I mean, it's, it's simple. Like yeah. if you can run a caulk gun and apply caulk on a window, you can put this product out. So, so far you've been happy with this? I, I was really impressed with the makers, how they took the time and said, okay, let's make it. They, they simplified it. And yeah, as a beekeeper, we know time's money here. You put in two treatments at 14 days of peace, you and your hive twice. A lot of the other treatments they're asking you to go in the hive, you know, four times, seven days apart. And you know, if you're running a crew or what, that's time and money and right, right. going to be yard to be yard. And okay. yeah. um, I, I really believe that if you could clean your bees up all the way, you can get less treatments throughout the year right. you know right now we're four or five times a year treatment right. and i really believe that the makers of amiflex really hit something right this time Perfect. on the, I, everything we've seen so far and our next um test will be here in in about 42 days two more cycles of you know did it clean up everything inside, you know, right. nothing make it back in to start over again. So. Perfect. Like I said, you know, we can talk about a product, but when you get actual user experience, a beekeeper in the field telling us, yes, this is what it did for me, it always makes it better for us. So uh, thank you, Governor. You're welcome.